Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The medical fraternity in Westmoreland has been left grief-stricken following the passing of beloved nurse Deidre Cunningham. She had been hospitalized after testing positive for COVID-19 and a senior doctor at the Cornell Regional Hospital told the Gleaner when she finally got oxygen, it was too late. Meanwhile, opposition leader Mark Golding has made a raft of proposals to respond to the surge in COVID cases, warning that Jamaica risks somber and terrifying days if it fails to act now. The opposition stands ready to support the implementation of life-saving strategies and to place our country on a path to recovery. And scores of Jamaicans today joined in the National Day of Prayer and Fasting, hosted by the Jamaica Umbrella Group of Churches, to offer hope as the country grapples with a surge in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. On Monday, Jamaica recorded eight more COVID deaths and 729 new cases. Jamaica's murder tally for 2021 has risen to 935 as at Saturday, August 28. This is 83 more homicides or a 9.7% increase when compared with the corresponding period in 2020. In sports, Jamaica's London Olympics relay gold medalist Nesta Carter has called time on his athletics career. The 35-year-old sprinter said he could not compete up to his standard in the sport. He said he has been hampered by an injury that has prevented him from competing since March. In your currency trading today, it was costing $152.18 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $208.49, and the Canadian dollar for $121.01. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies. In the afternoon, expect showers and isolated thunderstorms, mainly across sections of central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.